Community Outreach 2014, Ibadan City Outreach 2014, an outreach program of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International, Southwest One District. Team, a new name, Isaiah 62 verse 2. Date, Thursday 13th November to Saturday 15th November 2014. Speakers, on Thursday, Rev. Kayo de Kola Wale. On Friday, Brother Larry Adeboye. On Saturday, Barrister Isaac Okpanache. Time, 5 p.m. each day. Venue, All of Grace Jogger Event Center, off Liberty Stadium Road, Ibadan. You need a new name. Come, the Lord of hosts will surely visit your life with His grace and mercy. His banner over us is love. I welcome you today on this telecast program. My name is Oliver Kumi Adedeji. This is THP, the happiest people on earth. A telecast program of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International Nigeria. I have a couple of my guests this day. And I want you to please listen to God's faithfulness in their life. My guest, Dr. Olagwemi and Mrs. Folake Osachono, you're welcome on the program. Thank, Thank you very much. Let me start with you, sir. Who is Jesus to you? Jesus is my Savior, is my Lord. He sent the Holy Spirit to me as a comforter. Well, we're still going to come on, on that as a comforter. Now, how, how, what, what, what kind of life are you living that you saw that you needed Jesus to be your Savior? I was born into a nominal Christian home. Okay. My father, although he was one of the first to embrace Christianity in my village, was the head of the village. And by the time we were growing up, we had stopped going to church. But my mother was always taking us to church. And so we got on like that, but I wasn't really a Christian. But my mother, she's still alive by the way, well disciplined, brought us up to know the Lord. And she was very, very strict. I believe she's still very strict. She didn't allow me to smoke at all. I remember one day I wrapped a piece of paper in the form of cigarette. There was nothing in it, I had no matches. And she saw me. The way she beat me, I will never forget. <laughs> but I wasn't that lucky when I left home for my studies. I could drink four bottles of big stout. After that, I became intoxicated. But four was normal. I was living a type of life that I thought I was a Christian, but really I wasn't. I went to the university, I got married, and I was going to church, but I wasn't paying my time. I was paying something, but I wouldn't call it time. <laughs> I was paying five naira. The month obviously I wasn't earning fifty naira. <laughs> So it wasn't time, but I was paying just to fulfill all righteousness. Mm -hmm. But it got to a stage that something happened. Mm -hmm. Someone very close to me, my wife then, suddenly died, mm -hmm. leaving six solid children behind. When she was alive, I didn't, we couldn't even feed properly. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering. How will I alone cope? How will I feed them? None of them was in the university. They were all small. Six, three boys, three girls. Who will pay the school fees? Let no one come and tell me we don't have matches at home because I wouldn't know what to do. Or Pepe. Or how will I face butchermen in, in, in the market? We carry nylon bag, I want to buy I want to buy meat. How will I explain the situation? They will say this man must be very stingy, he can't send his wife to come and buy meat in the market. All these were my concerns. And everybody came preaching to me. I didn't see any sense in what they were saying. I thought they didn't pass through it, so they wouldn't know what I was going through. But one day, a lady came and told me her own story. 
how she lost her doctor daughter and God told her that his own son, that is God's son, to die at the age of 33. So I began to see some relationship between my own situation and the situation of that woman and what God did for her. And I then said, God, if this is what you can do, use the circumstances surrounding the sudden death of my wife to draw me closer to yourself. Um, precisely that was what God has done. I know the Holy Spirit came to me as a comforter because exactly one year, the first anniversary of the death of my late wife, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to come on that side. I'm going to say more. But let me come on you, Antifolake. Who is Jesus to you? I call him my heart and soul. I started my life very rough. My father is Muslim, and my mother, I cannot say Christian, but let me say he is a church. church okay. to church. And I grew up a little with her. Okay. But most of the time I grew up with my father before his death. And I've been living from uh, one sister, one brother, every year, going here, going there. So my life has been very rough okay. from from toddler. Okay. It's because I lost my father when I was in we don't call it as uh, form two. I was in form two when he died. And then my mother, a trader, he even said, You are the only daughter. So it's better you join me in my business or you go and look for a man to marry. You are that thing that. <laughs> so that was the way I lived my life until well, going here and there. I've been going to church. Going here and there, doing this, doing that, one trade or the other, going, doing all many jobs to sustain my life. But I may have been going to all sort of churches. I've been to Jehovah's Witness before. I've been to Catholic one time or the other. I've been to so many uh, Baptist. Baptist, just going up and down. <laughs> Until when I what were you looking for? Well, thinking I was serving God okay. Okay. in my own way. Mm -hmm. Yes, because there is nobody that will really put my feet on the right path. Mm -hmm. So I was just going that way. I'm serving my Lord. Mm -hmm. That's the way I say it, in my own way. Mm -hmm. At least it doesn't allow me to be wayward. Okay. I didn't go, any, go after any married as my peer group then will be doing. I know I'm serving God in my own faithful way. And any time I pray to him, he answered him. Until it was uh, the one of the national convention that we did at the uh, trans okay. amusement park. That was when I really knew I met with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he appeared to me and said, You blew me to be your holy Lord. Am I not your holy Lord? Am I not sufficient for you? Then I have I have a daughter. I was married then. My husband is dead, and I have a daughter. And uh, that daughter got missing at the camp grant at the Trans, Trans Amusement Park. Like during that convention. Yes, and it was then I was looking for. I was perplexed. I just sat down one corner. Said, I will see how when the time comes. <laughs> I know she will be around this camp. How old, how old was the uh, girl then? Two and a half, three years old. Oh, a very small girl. Yes. We just lost the father around that time. So, and it was then when I sat down in the corner that the Lord said, "You know me to be your holy love. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to prove to you that I'm really your holy love." Mm -hmm. And from nowhere, she was announced at the altar, at the pulpit, that yes, 
we, we, we find the girl here. He's he looking for the mother. If the mother is around, let the mother come down to come and clean. <laughs> <laughs> so and that was when I went there to collect her. Since then, we've been living together to the glory of God before getting married again to the guitar. I'm not being You're still coming on that. You see, I don't want you to wait until the point of crisis before you give Jesus a chance. I don't want you to wait to that point. And that's why God has created this opportunity for you today to give Jesus a chance in your life. You had my guest very well. Dr. Olagumi was at the point of where should I turn to? And then the salvation of the Lord came unto me. You had also Mr. Olagumi, which has one saying that it was at that point that the reality of Jesus came and Jesus spoke to her that if I am all involved to you, why not allow me in your heart? And so God is interested in your life. And that's why you are you have been opportune to hear this testimony today. Now, sir, how did you now come? You lost your wife, you lost your husband. So how did the Lord now brought two of you together? Well, indeed it was God that brought us together. As director of planning in the University of Ibadan, I related with all faculties, all departments. And so one day I was just going to the faculty of arts where she was working. I wanted some information and I met her there. She volunteered to help me look for the information. And as we were going, something, I now know it was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit told me that is your wife. And Were you aware at that point that she was a widow? Not really. I wasn't quite aware. Mm. But as she was going to help me, the Holy Spirit told me that would be your wife. And from then on, well, I started taking some steps. Well, there wasn't mobile phone there. Nineteen, that was 1998. I'm not sure there was any mobile phone there. There uh, wasn't. So, so how how are you sending your love notes and your love letters? <laughs> 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 they were love notes. Give me your love notes. I'll be here to go and search for love notes. Let me call me. Call me there. <laughs> okay. Yes, even up to I think last year, even when I get to now, I can still see some of the love notes. <laughs> <laughs> you normally send one of the uh, is a uh, assistant, assistant the office. in the office to send it. <laughs> they will envelope it. Mm. They will write it. It has a fine handwriting. They will write and send it to me. <laughs> then and within uh, almost 20 minutes, 30 minutes interval, and we just be saying. One note and the other. So it was uh, last year. I don't know what I was looking for in the house. And you saw the I saw the pile of letters. I called and said, Come and see your Come and read it. Come and read it. <laughs> We're going to continue. What an what, what interesting story. We're going to break now. But you see, I want you to know that you can laugh again. He can wipe away your tears, he can comfort you. Don't forget what Dr. Olagumi said. He said the Holy Spirit of God came to comfort. And part of that comfort is giving him another woman that fits his life. We're going to hear more after the break. Ibadan City Outreach 2014. Ibadan City Outreach 2014. An outreach program of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International, Southwest One District. Team, a new name, Isaiah 62, verse 2. Date, Thursday, 13th November to Saturday, 15th November, 2014. Speakers, on Thursday, Reverend Kayo de Wale. On Friday, Brother Larry Adeboye. On Saturday, Barista Isaac Okwanachi. Time, 5 p.m. each day. Venue, All of Grace Jogo Event Center, off Liberty Stadium Road, Ibado. You need a new name. Come, the Lord of hosts will surely visit your life with His grace and mercy. His banner over us is love. Welcome back on the program. This is THB, the happiest people on earth. The telecast program of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International in Nigeria. My name is Uluwa Kumi Adediji. I welcome you back to the second half. It's been wonderful, the first half. We've been hearing God's faithfulness. Our God revealed Himself to my guests on the program, the two of them independently. 
And now they had what you can call losses. And now the Lord has added joy to their life. You're welcome back on the program. Thank you very much. My guest, Dr. Olagwebi and Mrs. Walake Osashono. Now, let me start again from you. No, let me start from you, Ma. You said you saw the pile of the love note. Uh, please keep it. <laughs> <laughs> have, has the Lord been faithful since God brought him to your life? Yes, he has been very faithful. We, we've been together now for the past 15 years, to the glory of God. And throughout the 15 years, I can say the two of us will complement each other. Okay. Because there are so many areas where I see him lacking, I can fit him okay. successfully. And God has blessed us with a wonderful daughter, okay. to the glory of God. She's doing very wonderful too in academics and in everything. Uh, more than anything, I just want to say thank you to God for He has given my heart in love indeed. In the area of finances, the Lord has been wonderful. There are times that we just look up unto God that Lord is retired. What should we do? And within a think of an eyes, just for us to pray. The Lord surely answers prayers. He will just call me, Maja, did you send somebody to send uh, some money to my account? How can I say someone to send money to your account? He said, so, 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 I send money to your account, to my account. I said, well, it's God's doing. We've agreed together that we will never lack in prayers. And the Lord has been fulfilling his promises too, because he has said, and he continue to be with us any day, any time. He has been keeping to his promises. No, no. Even the area of earth, okay. oh, God has been wonderful. Yes. We have one challenge sometimes ago in his life, and we talked to God about it. God told me specifically that I should not be bothered, that he has healed him of it. He is the only one that is bothered about it. He said, okay, let's go medically. And um, we went for a series of tests and they said there is no problem with you. Mm. And even in my own life, I've uh, shared testimonies of it with them. That the way the Lord healed me of cancer I, I, is not, is not what I can say to all the world. Mm. But because we are giving a testimony, I think I can share it. Mm. He traveled. I just feel the sharp pain within me. And he doesn't like hospital. He's someone that anything if you mention hospital, he will be scared. So he doesn't want people he doesn't want people to examine him at all. <laughs> Not to even give him any sense of the hospital around him, he will be scared. So I don't want him to be scared because of his health and when my home came, I just continue to pray. I can't even share it with him. But I have a sister that I share it with him. For that day that I felt the Something has entered me that day. It was that day that I shared with that sister. That sister said, let's pray. And we pray together. And truthfully, I went for the test. And I was confirmed it was there. This is what is that. I can't show him the, the report because I was afraid mm. to tell him because of what He's I know also. Mm. is passing through. Too. So it was later on when I know I have it. I went for the test again after the prayer because I can't share it. That I face God mm. totally, mm. and the Lord has promised that He's going to heal me. And when I was healed, I went back to go and you examine yourself. You examine myself, and I was so, ah, the doctor said, Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, well, is, is it not the thing we saw before? Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's a, I said, No, it is not. It is still because I'm sure of it. So, in that area, God has been faithful <laughs> in healing. <laughs> God has been faithful in healing, and your healing has come today in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know what has been diagnosed about your life. But for you to have listened to this testimony today, Jehovah Rapha has stretched what is hand into your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, what do you want to share with our audience at home so about God's faithfulness in your life? Yeah, God has been faithful. When I was in that sorrow, I didn't know God had been preparing a wonderful woman as a wife. People call her an encourager. Her story is 
like that of Joseph. Wherever Joseph went, whatever he did, God made him to succeed. Ever since we came together, she has been an amiable, a loving, a caring, a devoted, and a godly helper. So those are the things that you were writing there? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. And more than that, God has blessed me. I talked about six children. God has blessed me through those children. The six of them have now all grown up. All of them have passed through the walls of a university. Who paid the fees? God. Mm. Today they are all gainfully employed. Mm. The six of them. I have an accountant who has a first degree and a master's degree. Mm. I have a systems analyst. I have a lawyer. I have a consultant who finished from London Business School and is now working in Switzerland. I have a mechanical engineer. And the baby of the six works in Lagos, finished in food technology in Nevada here. God has been wonderful. And since I retired some six years ago, I have been spending as if I haven't retired. <laughs> 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 I'm still working. Because God has been providing. My children initially wanted to be sending some money when I retired. I said, no, I don't need your money. Mm -hmm. But later on, I realized I might be denying them of some blessings. Mm -hmm. So occasionally they send in some money to my house. My wife has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. The union has been very, very wonderful because it's very rare. Mm -hmm. I have six children from somewhere. She brought in one, and we have one together. A big, happy family. Great. Big, happy family. We're going to end this program on that note. Big, happy family. Your own family also can be happy. God is said to wipe away all tears. God is said to bring comfort to your life. But you see, not until they recognize and admit Jesus as the Lord of their life, not until they receive the power of God unto salvation from Jesus Christ. And I want you to have that today. I want your heart to be ready to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Say these prayers after me. That Jesus, we accept you just as you are. No matter how far you've gone, no matter how deep you've gone, no matter how, how diabolic you've gone, He will receive you. He will wash you with His blood and make you clean. Bow your heart and say these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, we've had the testimony of your children. Dr. Olagui and Mrs. Falaki of Sashwala. And therefore, also invite you into my life today to be my redeemer, to be my savior, to be all in my life. Wash me with your blood, O oh God. Give me the power to become a child of God now. And I receive that power. I receive the assurance of salvation. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's it. That salvation, because the scripture talks about confession is made unto salvation. I want to say congratulations to you for saying that prayer. But I don't just want you to sit back because you've said the prayer. You need to do certain things. And the first thing I want you to do is communicate to us. SMS, give us a phone call or write us. So that we'll send you some literature that you need to read to understand the new label that you're coming to. Get the Bible, begin to read from the book of Romans. You understand what God has done between you and sin. Introduce yourself to any Bible believing church around you there and begin to go. Tell the pastor you want to grow in grace and you see God manifest himself in your life. And finally, at the end of the program, you see the list of where we meet. Walk into any of our chapter meetings. And indeed, you have joined the the the, 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 the union, the association, the fellowship of the Hatchet School on Earth. And your life will not be the same again. I want to sincerely thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful to have you in this program. I know when next you come, God will have added more to your life. I really appreciate it. Audience, expect us again next week. It's going to be great. Another witness will come just to let you know that what you need is Jesus in your life. Jesus in you, the hope of glory. Bye. See you next week.
Ibadan City Outreach 2014. Ibadan City Outreach 2014. An outreach program of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International, Southwest One District. Team, a new name. Isaiah 62, verse 2. Date, Thursday, 13th November to Saturday, 15th November 2014. Speakers, on Thursday, Reverend Kai Odekola Wale. On Friday, Brother Larry Adeboye. On Saturday, Barrister Isaac Okwanache. Time, 5 p.m. each day. Venue, All of Grace Jogger Event Center, off Liberty Stadium Road, Ibadan. You need a new name. Come, the Lord of hosts will surely visit your life with His grace and mercy. His banner over us is love. I'm sure you have been blessed today. If you just made a decision for Jesus Christ, why don't you write to us? And we shall send you a free copy of our booklet, Now That You Have Received Christ. And should you want to be a part of our worldwide fellowship of businessmen and women, contact us at the best hotel around you or Ibadan, full gospel area office, 